Hi everybody. Today we're gonna do some stretching. So this is a yin yang practice. So we'll be holding some stretches as in the yin tradition and we're also add a little yang. So that means movement in our stretch. So we're doing a little combo. So this is wonderful if you have tight muscles, tight ligaments, or if you just wanna become more flexible. So join me, I'm Nora Day. Okay, let's start stretching, people. I'd like you to take your legs out in front of you. Not being so specific, we're going to start rolling our ankles. So I'm doing little circles with my ankles. Keeping one way with my circles and then I can turn the other way. So I'm going to start slowly again, stretching ligaments, muscles, joints, and I stretch every day. It's my little secret weapon. <laughs> I need to stretch every day to keep me, myself sane and to keep myself really moving in the body. So when I do strength poses, my flexibility shines through too. I'm just going forward, flexing and pointing. If you want a little more length, some of you can raise your arms up. Again, I'm just flexing and pointing, and now I can add them together with some circles, some flexing and pointing, nice and easy, clean, circle the other way, flexing and pointing. Keep the legs out in front of you. We're going to come to a point. Take your opposite hand to your opposite knee, so you get a little twist in the body. I'm using the leverage of my hand on the outside of my knee. Again, opposite hand, opposite knee. I press in and I lift. I'm going for a little lift, I'm still pointing, and I can even turn my head to the side. Raise that opposite arm up to the sky so now I'm getting full length in my side body. Take a full inhale and exhale. Two more here, lengthen, inhale, and exhale. Taking one more here, inhale, pressing that hand, and exhale. Come back around to center, opposite hand, opposite outer knee. Use the leverage, press it in to lift, lift, lift. Turn to the side, raise your opposite hand. Again, side body on that back side body. Take an inhale and exhale. Use the hand as leverage. Inhale and exhale. Give me one last one. Inhale, lengthen and exhale. Turn back to center. Flex your feet. Nice flex in the feet. You can wiggle on your booty so you get nice length through the backs of your legs. And I know for some of us, you're already feeling your legs just sitting here. It's okay, I want you to sit here with me. We're gonna keep the flex so I'm really working so much that my heels are off, off of the earth. So that means I have active legs, inhale the arms, exhale, release the arms. Keep the flex, inhale, and exhale. I'm doing two more of these, super clean, super easy, you guys, inhale and exhale. Last one, inhale and exhale. Take your hands behind your knees, bend your knees, lean back, bring your feet in. Cross your ankles out in front. So I have one ankle stacked in front of the other ankle, okay? It's up to you if you want to have space or if you want to bring it into the body. So as you see when I do this, you're opening your hips. So if you have really tight hips, this is more difficult, more challenging, close. If you have really tight hips, I want you to scoot out. And you're just giving yourself a little more space for the hips to open, okay? So you gotta find your little sweet spot here. And I'm gonna take the palms of my hands, take them on the insides of my thighs. You're gonna see me press it down inside of my thighs press. I'm just giving a little extra nudge to open up my hips. 
So press. And I know some of you, your hips are up here. So when you press, you're really feeling that. Wherever you are in this pose, press. I'm trying to lengthen this. You see how long I am in the torso? Ha. Ha. Stay here with me. Press, press, press. Ha. Keep this position in your legs. Inhale the arms up. Again, we're staying super clean. Exhale. I'm using my breath. Inhale, length through the torso. And exhale. Give me one more. Inhale. And exhale. As you look down, I want you to switch the cross in your feet. So I want you to bring the other foot that's in front, bring it behind. So that means your front foot is more dominant. So that means you might need to adjust on this side. So you got to find your sweet spot again. Closer in, more challenging. That means you have more open hips, especially if your knees are down. If your hips are tight, you're burning, you're screaming. That means you got to scoot that baby out. Give it more space. And you're going to feel a little better about it. Find your spot where it feels comfortable and easy to sit. Once you find that spot, we're taking the palms of our hands again. Press. Lengthen your torso. Ooh. I'm breathing, putting the pressure down on those inner thighs to give a little extra nudge to open up my hips. Take another few rounds of breath. Ha. And here we go, circling the arms, inhale. Still lengthen the torso because I'm getting a side body stretch and exhale. And again, inhale. Breathe it in and exhale. Last one, inhale. And exhale. Bring your knees up to center point. Reach those legs back out. Shake your legs out. Lean your hands back. Shake your legs out. Coming a little deeper. Bend one knee in. The bottom of your foot's on your inner thigh. So we're just coming to a little deeper twist here. Pointing the long leg again to get length. Opposite hand, opposite knee. So I'm having a deeper stretch, deeper twist, deeper rotation. As I'm here, take your back hand, lift it up, length, woo, this is bigger. Inhale, and exhale. Keep the length, 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 front body up, inhale, and exhale. One more breath for me. Inhale. And exhale. Rotate around, taking it a step further. Flex your front foot. Wherever you can hold on, you're holding on. Walk down. Walk down. Keep it coming if you can hold the outer edge and inner edge. Here you are. I'm sticking my booty out in the back to get length through the front body. I'm not folding forward. I want length up. I'm using the leverage of whatever I've got to drag forward towards me. My foot, I'm dragging it towards me to lift, take a breath, and exhale. If you have more space, open your elbows, inhale, and exhale. If you have more space, open your elbows, going for length, 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 inhale, and exhale. Come on back up. Lean back on your hands. Bring this knee that's bent straight up. Straighten both legs out. Stretch it out. Going to the other side. Bend your other knee. Bottom of my foot on the inner thigh. Get length in your long leg. Point. Opposite hand. Opposite knee. Here we go. Rotation is what you want. I'm rotating the ribs around. I know I'm stretching your hamstring, but I'm getting an upper body stretch and length. Lift the back hand up, take an inhale, take an exhale. 
Again, inhale. Nice and easy exhale. I have one more round of breath using the leverage of my hand to lift and exhale. Rotate the body so you're forward facing straight ahead. Flex the bottom foot. Hold where you can. Whatever you're holding on to, you're going to feel like you're dragging it towards you to get length forward. I'm holding outer edge and inner edge, dragging that foot toward me to get length. I got to use my breath. Don't hold your breath. You got to breathe it through. We're breathing through the stretch. If you have more space, open your elbows and exhale. Length, 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 everybody. Inhale. One more full exhale. And come on back up. Take your hands behind you. Lift this knee. Shake those legs out. Coming to the next rotation even a little deeper. Lengthen one leg out. Bring the other leg in. So one leg should be out to the side. The other knee is folded in. You got it? As we take this deeper, we're going for even a, a longer side body stretch. The leg that's out. Bring in the same arm, same side. Reach down wherever you want to reach. The top arm is the one that we're going to work. Take it overhead. Whoa. Take it back. Take it overhead. Inhale. Exhale. Return the arm. I'm doing this a few more times. Every time I reach on my inhale right here, Woo, this baby's stretching. Exhale back. If you can lengthen the arm on your same leg longer forward, inhale. And exhale. Again, inhale. And exhale, working breath and movement. One more, inhale. Exhale, come all the way up, all the way up, all the way up. Rotate your body all the way around to the side. Lift both arms up. Take an inhale. Exhale, reach forward, fold over your bent knee. Take a few breaths here. You can drop your head. <sighs> Relax your neck, your shoulders. <sighs> and come back up. Leg that's long, bring that in. We're switching right to the other side. Other leg is long. Remember the long leg is out to the side. This knee is just folded in. Massive side body stretch everybody. Lengthen same arm, same leg. Top arm over, inhale. And exhale. So the secret of all this is working breath and movement together. Nothing is isolated, separate. We're working as a team with the breath and the movement. Exhale is coming back. If you can lengthen same arm, same leg, get that arm longer. Inhale. And exhale. Let's do a few more of these nice and stretchy long. And exhale back. One more. Inhale. And exhale back. Come all the way up on this exhale. Rotate those ribs like you did before. Arms come up. Take a breath. Feel all the length on your body, both sides. <laughs> Come forward. I'm coming forward over my bent knee. It'd be great if you could relax the upper body. So drop your shoulders, drop your head. Walk your hands back up. Turn your body to center point. 
We're adding on. We're still moving, my friends. Take this one open. We're in a straddle pose. I want you to flex your feet this time. I'm gonna use my feet as a hook. So if you are flexible enough, we're going side to side. I'm sitting straight down in my sit bones, lengthen the legs, flexing my feet. Flexing your feet, just like we did in the beginning when we were rounding the ankles and arching and pointing, all of that. We're using our feet with the flex. Let's flex our feet and we're gonna go side to side. You ready? Using the hook, I try and reach for my foot, hook. Inhale. And exhale all the way up. Inhale. Exhale. I'm doing this quite a while here. Hook. Inhale. And exhale. Again, it's a team. Breath and movement. Inhale. And exhale. If you are more flexible, use the hook. Elbow on the inside of your knee. Inhale. Exhale. Try that again on the other side. Hook. Elbow inside edge of your knee. Inhale. And exhale. Everybody point your feet. Inhale. And exhale. Do you feel this movement? It's like lube in your side body here. Inhale. And exhale. Few more with the pointed feet. Inhale. And exhale, woo, here we go, other side, inhale. And exhale. Bend your knees, I'm holding the backs of my knees, leaning back, bringing the feet in. Ha, ah, lean back on your hands, shake your feet out, very good. We're gonna come into a yin pose. Yin pose are held poses, and we hold the pose for maximum flexibility. So I want you to take one foot out in front of you, flat foot, other foot behind you, and you're on the back knee. So in this yin pose, to keep it more at ease, I want you to take the top of your back foot and relax, okay? As you have the top of your back foot relax, we're going to do this yin pose in stages. So take both hands down on the ground, and we sit here. So what am I stretching? I am stretching this back quad like crazy, back psoas, and I'm sitting on this baby. Because if I sit on it, it's going to get tired and it's going to let go. And that's where your secret is. You become more flexible. So again, nobody holds the breath. I'm just casually breathing through this. Okay, no excessive breath. I'm just casually breathing. Again, same front leg, same hand. You could put that same foot leg, hand, I want you to take that same hand on your front knee. So I'm already incrementally changing this pose, okay? Other hand, take it on the ground. So I have a little lean forward. I'm not sitting up, I'm leaning forward. And I know some of you are even feeling this on your inner front leg, on this inner thigh in the front. Get a little burn there, I know. <laughs> We're hanging here. So as I'm hanging here with my same hand on my same knee, I might try something even a little more advanced. So I'm going to try and lean back a little so I'm not leaning forward so much and try and take both hands on the front knee. Again, if this is screaming for you, I don't want you to do that. I want you to come back. And you could even put both hands down. Either both hands down, same side, hand on the same knee, or both hands on the front knee. Still hanging here. I don't want to scrunch my shoulders up. I want to relax. <sighs> A big trick in yin is to relax your jaw. 
So if you can oh, loosen your jaw, loosen your mouth, your shoulders relax, your body relaxes. Again, I'm getting double. I'm getting this back thigh stretch. I'm getting my inner front thigh stretch. I'm relaxed. Hang in here. I'm going to keep adding options for you. You take them or you go back to the option before. Next option, take your hands. Clasp your hands behind your head. Ha. 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 Last option, take both arms up. Clasp those hands, palms face up. Two breaths, everybody. Inhale and exhale. Give me an inhale. Exhale, release the hands. Come back down. Both hands come down. Very slow. Start leaning back. Lean back. Lean back. My front knee starts to straighten. Lean back. Lean back. Lean back. Walk your hands back. If you can straighten your front knee, I would love you to straighten your front knee. Keep the toes down. Lengthen the chest. Walk the hands a little forward. Drop your head. If you have the mobility and the flexibility, walk your hands farther forward. Drop your head. Lean back. Lean back. Keep leaning. Some of you lean back so far that your head comes to the ground. Ah, did you loosen your jaw? Relax your shoulders. And come up forward. Very nice, everybody. Take that front foot, reach it back. Open up your knees, bring your big toes together, sit it back for a nice, easy child's pose. <sighs> Walk your hands back in, come on back up. Let's come to the other side, okay? Now come around, take your opposite foot in front. Foot is flat, back knee down. So again, right away, you're going to learn that each side is different. We're not completely 100% symmetrical balanced. So one side might be more challenging than the other, and that's OK. That's why we do these, and we hold the stretch. Starting out the same way as last time, we've got the lean forward. So you can take your hands down. Top of that back foot is down to relax your back foot, OK? Again, these yin poses are done to gain flexibility. So we're here to take our time and really stretch deep, deep, deep. So this long leg is again my back quad. It's my back psoas. The front leg is my inner thigh. Hoo -hoo. Again, we're just breathing naturally. Just inhales and exhales as they come. Natural breathing. Nothing forced, nothing pushed. <sighs> so as I again, incrementally, I keep doing a little more to the pose. Same leg, same hand. Take that hand on your knee. So instead of leaning forward with my hands down, that hand on my knee brings my body up more. When I do that, I'm stretching that back so as even deeper. Just patiently waiting. I'm not in a rush to get to the next stage. I want to take some breaths here. Again, if this is too much, you come back to both hands down and you get that lean forward. You can go back to any stage because you're getting the stretch no matter where you are. As I keep this hand on my knee, 
I can start feeling that the stretch starts to change a little bit because it's getting a little more intense. <laughs> ah, no rush, just taking some breaths here. <laughs> As I stay here, I'm going to go to the next stage. I lean back farther and I take both hands on my front knee. Ha. Again, I feel this front inner thigh. I feel my back psoas, back quad. Too much. Come back. Okay, and you might interchange these through the whole time. So you don't have to stay here the whole time. If you can, I want you to. <laughs> but if you need to change, change. Natural breathing, sitting in the pose. You loosened your jaw, right? Uh, loosen your mouth. Uh, loosen it up, relax. Uh, let the breath and the pose do the work. You're just sitting here. You're not doing anything. Uh. Uh. Moving forward in the pose, clasp your hands. Hands behind my head. Elbows out to the side. Uh. Relax. Ah. If you'd like to go to the final stage, take those arms up. Here are two breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Release your arms. Walk those hands forward. As you come out of this pose, it's a slow-moving pose. I start straightening the front knee slowly. If I can, I'd like to keep these front toes down. I can walk the hands back to start, just to see where I am. This is a nice hamstring stretch on my long straight leg. If you have more space, I want you to walk the hands forward. If you are walking those hands forward, can you lean back a little bit? See, that gets deeper. See where you are, where you feel that you might be to your edge, but you're not going past your edge. Walk your hands forward. Lean back a little farther. You might walk your hands so far forward that your head comes down to the earth. <sighs> Relax your jaw, relax your shoulders. <sighs> Slow motion, start lifting your head, start walking it forward. Bring that front leg back behind you, toes together, open your knees, Sit back in your child's pose. <sighs> Bring the body back up. Since we're already on hands and knees, let's stay here. Open your knees up, open your feet up. I'm here in a stable, solid foundation. I want you to arch your low back and round your low back. So I'm not doing much with my top body. Starting it slow. Arch my low back ooh, and round your low back. One more of those, just low back. Think only low back is moving. Arch and round. We're gonna add the top body. Arch as you drop the chest, keep those arms straight. Try not to bend the elbows. Round, round my low back, round my upper back. 
Arch, ooze your chest down in the center point. Keep those elbows straight. Arch your low back, arch your low back, round. Now let's use the breath. Inhale, arch. Ooze the chest, exhale round. Inhale, this time as we arch, you're gonna hold. I know the tendency is to do this. I don't want you doing that. I want you to straighten the elbows and your chest oozes in the center. I'm still here in my arch, arch, arch. And now I come to the round, round my low back, round my upper back, and I can even look through my knees. Straight arms again. And come back to neutral spine. In my neutral spine, bring my knees forward, come back around, come to a seated position. And let's take some nice twists, okay? So, a nice easy twist to start with is coming back to a seated position, ankles stacked, okay? You know you're either going to be way in tight or you might be out a little bit. Pick your spot. I'm taking two different twists on this, okay? I'm coming around, opposite hand, opposite knee. My other hand is behind me bracing the earth and I lift. On an inhale, look straight ahead. Exhale, drop your chin. Inhale, straight ahead. Exhale, drop your chin. One more, inhale. Drop your chin. As you come to center point, we're going back to that same side. Reach your arm back to the same side, same arm, same leg, side body. This time we're holding. And I'd like you to look down and look at the hand that's on the earth. As you're here, some of you more flexible, you might even come down to your elbow. Again, if you're screaming, I'm not talking to you, you come back up. If you can come down to your elbow, fine. Again, we're all getting the stretch. Looking down at your hand on the ground, feeling your whole side body here with an enormous long body stretch. Everybody, elbow off the ground. Everybody come up, we're going right to the other side. Opposite hand, opposite knee, other hand behind you. Inhale, exhale, drop your chin. Inhale, exhale, drop your chin. Inhale, exhale, drop your chin. Lift your head, come back to center point. Same arm, same leg, reach it over. Top arm overhead, and this is our hold. Ha. Ah. So as we hold here, again, it's an enormous side body stretch. If you have more flexibility, you could go down to the elbow that's on the ground and we all start looking at the hand that's on the ground. Either elbow off the earth, elbow into the earth. Again, no forcing of the breath. Relax your jaw. <sighs> Again, let the stretch and the breath do the work. You're just a vehicle for the stretch to come through your body and gain more flexibility. Take another easy breath. Take the elbow off the earth. Everybody comes on up. Ha! Bring the knees up. So, 
for this next twist. We're just twisting away today, you guys. Bend one knee so one knee is underneath you. That other foot is in front of you. If you can take it around to the outside edge of your knee, that would be great. If not, it's right in front of you. As I sit here in the pose, opposite hand, opposite leg, it's a much deeper twist. I'm just twisting that opposite hand's behind me. <sighs> Nobody's hanging or hunching. Everybody lift it up. Ha. <sighs> We're already moving to the next stretch. Looking forward. This leg that's bent with the knee up, I want you to straighten that out. Rotate your body to the long leg out. Walk your hands forward. Ha. <sighs> Whew. Ha. Ha. Come on up. Release your top leg. All I'm going to do is lean back. Switch sides. So again, that front knee, the front knee that's up, it's either right in front of you or you're going to cross it over. A little deeper if you cross it over. That's too much, just come back here. Opposite hand, opposite knee, wrap it around. Other hand is behind me for the foundation. Taking my twist. No rounding or hunching. I want you to press from the earth up and lift. <sighs> Easy breathing, everybody. And as I come to the next stretch, I turn my body forward, reach the top leg long, reach and lengthen my body over the long leg, and fold. Ha. Ha. Take another breath here to release, relax. Ha. And lift the body up, coming on up. Undo your legs, come back around. Come back to an easy seated position. So if you're like me, you naturally come to some side. Whatever side you naturally came to, I don't want you to go there. So like me, I'm gonna switch it to the side I naturally don't go to. Other foot in front, other foot. So I'm giving a little more stretch to that hip that's not quite as open as the other hip. If you've been way out here in your cross, I want you to bring the cross a little closer in, opening those hips a little more. We're sitting up tall. We've been stretching our side body. Let's even get an extra stretch to make sure we're nice and tall. Keep the side body length all the way up through the ribs to the arms. Don't drop your side body, don't drop your torso, drop your arms. Yana Mudra, thumb and index finger together. My other three fingers fan out. One of my favorite teachers told me that the circle is the circle of positive energy rolling through your body. And the three fingers that are fanning out are releasing everything that you don't need. So think of your inhale as the circle, nourishing, refreshing your body. The three fingers are your exhale, exhaling everything you don't need out of the body. Close your eyes, keep the length in the torso, take an inhale, circle the positive energy. Keep the torso high, take an easy exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Relax your shoulders, relax your jaw. Inhale. Exhale. Again, inhale. Exhale. 
relax inhale the circle the positive exhale relax with your eyes closed bring your palms in a prayer pose at your heart center take a slight bow in your chin letting go of your ego staying humble and staying open to new opportunities. Give yourself a thank you, thank you, thank you. I am the light. I am loved. I am that. From my great soul to your great soul. Namaste.